Okay, here I am, yet again, in Gamma Do Lockdown after nine months, and yet again, my upper products are completely and absolutely failing me. I am trying to write a simple email. I've just turned on my iPad, and the damn thing does not work. It, I, I feel locked up. The entire operating system does not work. I cannot function. What is right just now is decided to work. The thing overheats, overheats my Apple iPhone with my SIM card in it. Uh, uh, stop working. <coughs> I have a second iPhone. I have to play a dual kind of tag team effort to even make phone calls on WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger. Uh, this is beyond ridiculous Apple Incorporated of California, USA. I'm merely trying to email myself when I've just opened up the iPad, booted it up, started it up, whatever you want to say, and the thing is not working properly. It just decided to think it should send me an email. In addition to this, in addition to this, Apple Incorporated of California, here in my penalty case underneath, here is my alleged Apple MacBook Pro. It's beyond ridiculous because the the Apple MacBook Pro has not worked for over six months. Uh, it's not uh, working at all properly. It won't boot up. It won't uh, start up. It's unstable. I'm trying, I use Clean My Mac 10 to to try and improve the performance. I worked in broadcast technology for over 24 years and still your products fail because I actually know what to do. Like this Apple iPad. This Apple iPad I brought brand new on December the 27th in Dubai duty free en route to Kamandu Nabal. It is now as you can see September the 26th 2020. I've been locked down in Nepal since December the 27th 2019. This product is only nine months old, Apple, and we are in the 21st century, 2020. And yet, you decide to supply, you ship, you deliver a product that only has a 32 gigabyte, not megabyte, not terabyte, gigabyte memory. This is less than a USB giveaway stick now that is given away free by Sandisk, a Western Digital Corporation company. They are also based in California. And yet, I have operated and worked with <coughs> Basic TV. I've operated and worked with Sandish products, Western Digital products now, down to minus 52 Celsius on the Arctic Ocean and up to 48.3 Celsius in the Armani Desert near the empty quarter. And what I'm stating is consistently Sandish products exceed all expectations 
the word here is, <coughs> excuse me, is exceed. They operate in the most extreme conditions. They successfully deliver time and time again. Yes, deliver. This is a word with respect. You guys at Apple Incorporated of California, United States, do not understand. You do not understand the idea of exceeding expectation. Your products, throughout the period I run them, I own five Apple products, two iPhones, one iPad, one alleged MacBook Pro, and the old, wonderfully designed, but very slow now, Apple Aluminium Tower. Your products consistently, and I mean consistently, that is every time, any time, underperform on fail. I've written documentary film treatments on the very concept of obsolescence. Mr. Osram of Germany invented the concept of obsole inbuilt obsolescence. I'm sorry I'm shaking. I've got ataxia. I had a head injury. I diagnosed acquired brain injury from 2019 January. I can shake. I'm going through neuroblasticity and neurogenesis. But you know what? I have not earned a single penny in two years now. All I was trying to do... <coughs> all I was trying to do while I've been here locked down in the hall is write a book. But because all four Apple products I have happen to be failing, the only half decent product I have is this, which thankfully is not an Apple product. It's an Oppo product, a product made in India, not made in America or China, as you make their products. It's an Oppo phone, Google phone. I'm slowly but surely getting used to how to operate it because obviously I have been using Apple iPhones consistently for years and years now but they fail consistently your batteries are pathetic your batteries wear out when they don't need to your products consistently overheat you have to understand very two basic principles. Electronic digital devices run on electricity. And this, when he operates and runs through digital devices, you will learn this in O-level physics. It creates Ubik, Oscar, Hotel, Mike, India, Charlie, Oric. Resistance. Ohmic resistance causes heat. And all your products consistently, time after time, overheat. Now, I'm not a very, would you say, smart guy, but I have been to two universities to study human performance physiology in extreme environments. And I lectured at a third. I studied at Cardiff University, Wales, Leeds University, England. I lectured at Cambridge's famous Anglia Ruskin University in the beautiful historic university city of Cambridge, where I lived for many years. I'm astounded. You are made the world's most ever profitable product. And with respect, it's shit. You expect the users of your product to simply dispose of them and buy another one. 
Well, this is unsustainable. But for you as a company, for your consumers, your customers, whatever you want to call them, and most importantly, with respect for the environment. We are now going increasingly to a green, alleged green, sustainable economy. It will take time. People will utilize fossil fuels for many, many years until they're all depleted. However, with respect again, can we please think about inventing or manufacturing digital devices as if they were made like German cars or the Tories or Hilux, the, the awesome people on Top Gear, now Amazon's Grand Tour, Jeremy Clarkson decided he would try and kill. This thing survives. It thrives in adversity. But your products do not survive or do not, most definitely not, thrive. They simply, categorically, unmistakably fail. They fail. They fail to perform. They fail to live up to expectations. And most categorically, over more than six months, since April the 4th, your alleged MacBook Pro, which again is in this Kate Pelly case, has prevented me writing a book. It's prevented me productively operating and working as a professional journalist. So an alleged professional product has prevented a professional journalist, a writer, to do his job. I bought this on a professional account at the professional department of the Canon store in Cambridge, England, on the exclusive proviso that this professional product bought on a professional account through my professional company with VAT was going to perform professionally. This product has not, repeat not, repeat not, performed professionally.